underpainting. Everybody's talking about it. Have you heard about it? I've only heard about it because I do makeup, but honestly, probably the average woman is not gonna really know anything about it, unless you're like heavy into that stuff and you follow a lot of that stuff on, on TikTok and that kind of thing. But my age group, um, honestly, it, I've heard about it for the last little bit, but really didn't, uh, you know, look into it too much. So anyhow, let's talk about it, underpainting, which I find is really interesting because as far as I'm concerned, Okay, but before I go there, wait, wait, wait. Um, underpainting is actually, it can be done different ways, okay? Like not all artists do it the exact same, but the general concept, like the general way that it works, honestly, is you apply your concealer, your um, contour, your blush, um, like all your steps. And then what you do is you put your foundation, a really light coverage foundation right over top of it all and blend it all. So in my mind, technically what I'm thinking is like, haven't we been doing underpainting for like years now at Saint? That's what I'm thinking. Like to me, I think that our technique is underpainting. I mean, that's what we've been doing and telling people to do for years because it builds more dimension. And so that's the whole idea of this whole underpainting concept. A lot of women will show you how they underpaint one side of their face, which is exactly what I'm doing now. They're doing all their contouring, then they do their blush, then they do their concealer, and then they finish it off with their foundation. And basically it's like what we've been doing. Like honestly, like they're just jumping on the bandwagon now. <laughs> no, but you know where I'm coming from, eh? Like, I don't know. I just think things are funny. And now, so this is the big trend and everybody's doing it, right? So it is what it is um, and go for it. But I love the technique, honestly. It, um, it's just, it's a great technique. Um, it does build a lot more dimension in your skin, okay? So now what I'm doing is just my blush placement. Let me take this left over and put it on my lips. I am going to do like always, I feel like I'm out of it here. I'm gonna do some bronzer. So you do all these steps and then you blend with your foundation at the end. Okay, um, I didn't contour my nose, so let's just do that with some bronzer. Sometimes I do contour with my bronzer I mean, it's not quite as, as effective and it is a little bit warmer, but it can work in a pinch. That's the beautiful thing about this makeup is it's all intermixable, right? So you can use it in uh, different areas all over the place. Like you can use your contour as eyeshadow or use your contour as um, lip liner, you know, mix it up. So it's great. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my foundation. Okay, I'm picking it up on my blush bronzer brush and I'm just going to do, so like we tend to fill in these areas with our um, foundation. I didn't even do my brightener, but I'll do it after. Um, just like so, okay, all the areas that you haven't done, you're gonna fill in with your foundation and then you just take what's left over and you know, start softening it out. And that my friends, pretty much is underpainting. Like really to me, this is my version of under underpainting. Apply your makeup like we apply our state makeup. <laughs> I guess everybody's jumping on that bandwagon now. I don't know, but um, if you are mature skin, um, and mature skin can be like, really just depends on your skin, but you, your skin starts maturing like in your 30s for God's sake. But you know, if you're definitely in your 50s, you, you for sure have mature skin. I'm 53 years old. Um, even like your 40s, definitely you're starting to mature. Your skin is mature at the, this point. So if you do have mature skin and you're looking for a new makeup routine and you just haven't been happy with your makeup, you need to make the switch to cream. I'm not even kidding. It's such a game changer, honestly. You will absolutely love it. So reach out because I will color match you. I will pick all your colors for you. It's really cool, very easy to do. And um, 
I like to keep makeup as simple as possible. Like keep it as effective as possible, but completely simple so that it's easy for you every day. Um, you know, the less you have to do, the better. And I know every woman's skin is a little bit different and everybody's got their own issues and you're trying to camouflage this and trying to camouflage that. I totally get all that. I take all that into consideration when I do your color match. So um, take a chance, get a color match, take a chance on cream makeup. You're, I can't even tell you like the difference cream makeup makes in mature skin. Like you look instantly more youthful. Like it's crazy. Really, really insane. So if you want a color match, grab the link uh, on my homepage or just reach out to me direct, I'll send it to you. But yeah, this is uh, underpainting. This is all the rage. This is what you're seeing all over TikTok right now. Um, and honestly, we've been underpainting the skin since the conception of Saint Makeup. I just find it very, very funny. And I haven't seen another Saint artist talk about it yet. And I'm like, this is just crazy to me that we've been doing this basic technique for this long. And now it's all the trend on social media. So I don't know, the world works in funny ways, but um, would love to color match you. Please reach out. Um, I'm here for you. I teach you exactly how to apply it. I make your life as simple as possible. Um, I'd be thrilled to color match you. Anyhow, I'm going to leave it at that. Underpainting, cream makeup, um, apply your makeup in stages and build dimension in your skin. It's so, so easy and I'll teach you how to do it. I'll even send you a video on your skin, the application on your skin. Okay. Talk soon. Ciao for now.